Okay, C. Lindelof videos. Differentiation of natural log functions and exponential functions. So let's look at a couple of natural log functions here. Um, I wrote this rule over here for us to keep in mind <clears throat> that ddx of ln of f of x is 1 over f of x, 1 over the original function, times the derivative of the function. So the first thing I want to do is I want to start, I'm going to take the derivative of the yellow part. So this is kind of weird, but I thought this might demonstrate how I'm doing this. So the yellow part is the derivative, I'm just taking the derivative of this yellow part right here, so it's 1 over f of x, right? And f of x happens to be, right, ln of 2x to the fourth, all right? So then I have to take the derivative, right? Now I'm going to get to the, this part right here. So now I have to take the derivative. Now I'm taking the derivative of this part right here, right? So the derivative of that pink part right there is 1 over 2x to the fourth, right? 2x to the fourth. Now I have to take the derivative of this part. So I'm taking it in three parts. And the derivative of this part is 8x cubed, 8x cubed. This cleans up a lot. Um, I decided that I'm not going to do that because it takes a little bit of time. If you're interested in the algebra of cleaning this crap up, then let me know. And I, I really will. I'll go back and, and do that. But I thought it might be good for us to see another problem that's similar. So let's look at this other similar problem. And that problem is this one. <coughs> Excuse me. That y is equal to ln of ln of 3x cubed, right? Now I didn't do it in different colors, but I just wanted to say I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to take the derivative of this part, right? So y prime, the derivative, is equal to 1 over the derivative, 1, right? 1 over the first of the inner function, so ln 3x cubed. Now I have to take the derivative of 3 of ln of 3x cubed, and that's 1 over 3 x cubed, right? Now I have to take the derivative of the third part, and which is 9x squared. Can you see it all? I hope you can. And again, I can put this together for you also because there is some simplification that can be done here with numbers. If you can see that there's a 3 here and there's a 9 here, and also that we have an x cubed here and an x squared here. So, so that does simplify out. I will tell you, if you, you know, maybe it'll help you to, to just know it, but the final derivative that I got after simplification was 3 over ln of 3x cubed. So if you have a hard time getting to that, let me know and I'll help you, I'll walk you through it, assuming I didn't make any mistakes. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Uh, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.